Lakini kamati ya bunge la seneti limeanza kujadili hatima ya gavana wa Kirinyaga Ann Waiguru. Vikao hivyo vimeendelea kutwa Waiguru akikana mashtaka yote anaomkabili. Mashahidi katika vikao hivyo wamewasilisha kesi yao mbele ya kamati hiyo. Elizabeth Mutuko na uketo wa taarifa hiyo. We'll be able to demonstrate all those issues that the county assembly has raised. Look at the conduct of Governor Waiguru when she is called upon just to have an honor among the persons whom she was elected in office with, the county assembly. She has an attitude that the county assembly and the failure or, or, or rather the question of undermining the county assembly was not by default, it was by design to make sure that she removes herself from the ambit of oversight by the county assembly. In such kind of circumstances, how can or how will the government of Krenyaga County continue to exist for misconduct and violations of law before they can successfully remove an elected officer from their position? Impeachment and removal from office was never intended and should never be based on falsities, innuendos, rumors, hearsay, conjecture, and certainly not malice. Contract. So it is not one contract for 27 Even million? Even to the same company, Chair. Okay. So there are two, there are two contracts paid uh, um, uh, for, for provision of separate services to, to, to the same to company, the but not one company which was overpaid. It's actually one company paid for two contracts. But so the, there is no overpayment because the two, con the two contracts, what are the amounts of both contracts in total? Chair, uh, previously I alluded to a report from the PPRA. And Chair, if you can take your time to study this report, this is one of the tender that PPRA questioned. The manner in which it was prosecuted, then the manner in which it was paid. Musa. Actually, Chair, from the information, the tender was meant for four level four facilities we have in Kirinyaga, but it was narrowed down to two facilities. Chair. Chair, the actual sum was 27 million for one of the tender, and they narrowed tender. down to two facilities. And the, at the end of the day, the total amount is 27 million that was paid for two facilities, but the contract was for four facilities, Chair. Linens broke down, incinerator, a machine that is used to dispose um, infectious waste like amputated limbs and placenta from mothers broke down and several letters were done to the uh, were done to the the county including the governor letting her know that these issues have been going on and lack of repairing of these important machines can lead to in spread of infection to the workers in the hospital to the patients and to the community at large but the steps were not taken and as i speak today the incinerator and autoclave have still not yet been fixed infectious waste are being disposed in the hospital grounds that is accessible to patients, uh, other health workers, and the community at large. Actually, where the waste products have been disposed, as it has been shown severally on television, is close to the pediatric ward, where we have the children. That has caused a lot of problems. <laughs>